Hey guys, welcome to or back to my channel. Welcome back to the start of the new vlog. It is 4 p.m. now as I'm starting this vlog and you guys saw the title. I thought I would take you guys throughout my like iftar prep and I'm posting this iftar for myself. If you all followed along last year, I did like a little iftar with my sister, but this year, I guess not alone. I, in the invites, I put like Zyra and Bush's iftar. Uh, Y'all, it looks like I'm sitting here alone, but Zyra is right here. <laughs> she is using me as a pacifier right now. Uh, I've tried to get her like on the pacifier and any other breastfeeding moms may relate to this, but she just does not want to take the pacifier and she just uses me as a pacifier sometimes. Like, I think she's gotten enough milk from me, but I would take the time and get myself ready. And I feel like 4 p.m. is like a good time to start getting ready because I also do the, gotta do the prep. So I think I'm just gonna get myself completely ready and then I'll go down and like set up and all that stuff. I sent for you to the store to go get some things. Um, don't even ask like, I'm so sad about that. It got stuck in this. So now I'm just trying to like scrape out blush. I did it like no prior preparations really for the Sithar. I sent out invites like a week and a half ago, which understood why people had like other Sithars that they were invited to before that they were going to. So I definitely had time to like plan something, make it real cute and stuff. But honestly, all I did not. And I thought I would just like reuse all the same stuff that I had from last year when me and my sister threw our little Sithar. And then this year it's just like, me doing it i wanted to try hosting something on my own so this will be the first time i'm actually ever hosting something on my own um but granted like my mom has helped me a lot like she made the biryani for me i was going to like cook some butter chicken but my mom was like oh i'm making biryani anyways um do you want some too and i was like yes please give make me like half a tray or something so food is taken care of and then obviously there'll be like little sides and things like that that i will be putting out and so i just got to set up the table i was gonna make these little slider things so i thought we could do that together um and i don't think that will take that long because the chicken is baking right now and then i'm just gonna shred that and yeah we'll i'll take you guys throughout that when i do that i'm excited and i feel like this whole week um like it's saturday today it just went by like so fast and i don't even know what the heck i was up to this week and i feel like it was just like a weird week did anyone else feel that way about like week three of ramadan and i feel like we're slowly are we in the last 10 nights isn't the last 10 nights start like today like the night of saturday night is like the first night of the last 10 nights i believe so inshallah i will try to take advantage of that i wonder if the mic is picking that up because this girl is snoring all done with my makeup and look who decided to wake up she had a really short five minute or i would say like seven minute nap i feel like she's gonna be cranky today because she also missed her first nap like she fell asleep and like woke up five minutes later but also i think she's going through a little regression again so maybe it's that i feel like i have not like updated you guys about zyra in so long and like so many changes i feel like she's so big now mashallah like i get out of breath now holding this girl and this morning she started blowing raspberries so that's something new she did start doing that this morning and she's trying to start like crawling she's been rolling for a while yeah she's just like a lot more active she's in the grabbing everything stage she's trying to grab things around me you guys like, can't see because like the camera is like kind of higher up and she also is just like i don't know started solids wait you guys already saw that actually um, the first thing we gave her was like sweet potato and she's just been loving food now and i'm trying to do a little bit of baby lid weaning with a mix of like puree and yeah let me go choose an outfit out because i don't know what the heck i'm wearing today what do we want to wear what do both of us want to wear i don't think i have anything matching other than my pink abaya but i'm going to have like that green thing for the decor like the little table thing let me see my options i just came from downstairs because the ups guy came by and dropped off a package and it's like a pr package that i got in so i was like oh why don't i do like a fun do i even have time for this to do like a little game for everyone and i'll make it on camera and like who knows me the best and have my friends fill it out and then whoever wins i'll Give them some stuff from like my PR. I always give them stuff anyways, but I'm so grateful for like the PR and things like that that I get because I love just like giving it back to my friends and my family and y'all, I need to like start collecting stuff for you guys as well. Oh, you came. Farida is Sorry. back. <laughs> Did you get my stuff? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna have Farida help me. It's okay. 
we'll be fine without the ice cream. I told him to get me some ice cream and like a cake or something and cookies, but he just brought the cookies and the cake, I guess, which is fine. I don't even think anyone would eat that much. Hey, <laughs> how did she even get that, you guys? But let me open this really quick because why not? Where are the scissors? Do I even have scissors? Over here. I need to sit down and open this. I don't have scissors. I'm just gonna try to rip off the tape. Let's see if it wants. Nice. <laughs> Do you wanna take Zara? Let's see what we got. Wait, I kinda want this though for myself. I'm running out of my moisturizer. You see that looking? Cleanser. Oh, Zara's yeah. looking. Got a body lotion from Osea. While well, breathe Hazara, let me figure out my outfit. These are my options, y'all. Could do this white one, but I don't know. Kind of don't want to wear that one. I like the pearl one, but I wore this one last year with like my white jumpsuit. Could wear this one. That could be cute, but also like it's a dress. I like this one. I'm gonna have to iron this one though. Um, but this one I'd probably wear it with like a white slip dress under and maybe one of like the printed hijabs or i could do this and i feel like this one's so cute and i've like never wore this one i let my sister borrow this one last year and then my friends actually came yesterday and they all took like an abaya well not all of them like took them took an abaya so i know what they're wearing <laughs> and so one of them took one of my dresses like the bushranko dresses and then one of my friends she's wearing a um, like a buyer that I have from Build Collection, y'all. I don't even ask me about Bush and Co. Like, since I had Zyra, I just feel like that's so much work. Like, I don't know how people do it with a kid. I just feel like because I had like my social media to worry about, it's just like another added thing. If I didn't have like this to do, then it would be easier to like start a brand like that. I don't know. Inshallah, I'll pick it back up though eventually. But for now, it's on pause if you're wondering what happened with that. It is raining so hard outside, but this is the outfit I ended up going with. I just went with the plain white abaya and the printed scarf. This printed scarf just gives me such Ramadan vibes along with like these earrings, which I wore these yesterday. I don't know if I'm <laughs> uploading that week in my life vlog I made, but if you saw that vlog, if I decided to upload it, then I was wearing these earrings yesterday in like the same hijab, but I just really like it for Ramadan. I feel like I probably won't. Well, actually, I'll probably still wear it even after Ramadan, but I really like it with like the plain abaya. I feel like it just adds something to it, so I'm just wearing an all-white abaya. I feel like it looks cute. Let's go set up. I gave Zyra to my sister. I'm gonna get Freed's help to put like the chairs and tables out. Let me show you guys like a full body look. Here's a full body look of the outfit. is about being able to repeat and do the same thing and find pleasure and sweetness in the routine of your faith. The Prophet ﷺ, he says, Saddidu wa qaribu wa abshiru fa innahu lan yudkhil al-jannata ahadan amaluhu. But he says, do these three steps. Number one, stay on the course, saddidu. Stay on the path. Don't waver. Don't get distracted. All of this is referring to being a consistent person. And I feel like subhanAllah when the Prophet ﷺ Shout out to Free for helping me. <laughs> I would not have been able to do all this on my own. But I'm about to make the sliders. I got my Hawaiian rolls. I have the two of these. I feel like this would be enough. Like there's not that many of us. I think I'll just make one roll. And then if everyone really likes it, I'll just really quickly make another roll. <laughs> Thanks for the help. No problem. What are we doing now? He is cutting the honeydew, you guys. What are we doing next time, man? So I'm gonna work on the sliders. I was about to eat one of these. <laughs> I forgot I was fasting. Well, apparently, if you eat with not knowing, then it doesn't break. What are you out. putting this in? Good question. Oops. Put it in one of those. I did a really bad job here. It's okay. Gives us these simple guidelines. Sometimes we overcomplicate how to practice and how to pray and how to follow the religion. The Prophet Sallallahu says what? Saddidu, just stay on the path. You don't have to get concerned with this or that. Just make sure that you're doing your deeds. Hi, Zaire, ma. Oh, what about Zaire's food? Yeah, <laughs> that cucumber over there? We cut it for her, I'll give it to her. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Yeah, I think so. And as a result of that, he says that you will be drawn near to who? The scholars say to Allah. Because Allah loves your consistency. And you feel it now. Day number 12 of Ramadan, day number 13, 14. You're going to feel in this 
middle 10 days, for those of us who can keep up, may Allah Ta'ala give us that, you're going to feel now like these are the 10 days where you're being pulled close. And you're starting to see, and I'm not trying to make anyone feel guilty, that the lines will start to decrease. And the attendance will start to wane. And those who stayed until 8 rakah, that number will get smaller. And as you remain steadfast, you will feel that, alhamdulillah, that Allah has chosen me to get close to him. Saddidu wa qaribu wa abshiru. And then the Prophet Sallallahu said, and then also give glad tidings. Be that person that can remind others, that can give people the motivation around them to stay firm on the course. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta check the date. <laughs> you guys not check the date? For what? For Wait, the yeah, bugs. For what bugs? I already, I already oh, one. Yeah, you like split it in half. And to make it. sure, yeah. Aisha has just when? been eating them. Well, I haven't had a kajur in a while. I never do that. Because they sometimes make you feel Sometimes right. they are like rotten on the inside. So always yeah, split I've it. literally just been eating them. Well, I don't eat kajur anymore, but like, yeah, you know I don't eat kajur anymore. And I've I had it happen once where there were like bugs inside of it. Mm -hmm. So what's the wrong? outfit? What's going on? Now it's our party time! This for me, everybody. <laughs> really? <laughs> wow. I was not. What's your waist monitor? I thought uh, I was Jewelry her. from Nominal. <laughs> Dress from She's crying in the corner right there. Oh, you guys, I forgot to put the woman on the bark sign. That's why it's empty. <laughs>